Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here and welcome to yet another Bug Snacks Achievement and Trophy Guide and this time I'm going to be showing slash explaining to you just how to unlock hats in the game and the easiest method possible to grab all 10 needed for the Dapper Kappa Achievement slash Trophy. Now the reason I've made this is basically what you have to do, you need to catch a bug with a hat on in order for it to start. They don't just start automatically or through story progression. You've actually got to catch a bug snacks with a hat on it in order for this to start so then we can move on. Then after that, after you finally do that and you get the first hat, the uh, locations are then randomized. So I'm going to be showing you the easiest way that we can try and do this one. So. Um, now, for me, for me, what the easiest thing will always be is go to Garden Grove and Flavor Falls, the first two areas in the game. They're very compact, they're very small, there's not that many enemies here. So, as you can see then, I've jumped down and you can see a hat on the Bunga Bunga. One of my, probably my most favorite Pokemon, uh, Bug Snacks in here. So, as you can see, he's got a hat on, it is a cap. So, we can just wait for a moment just while we, there it is, that's... I don't, I, I, I don't need to explain a hat to you, do I? I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a hat looks like. Um, but of course there's plenty in here. There's like clown hats, party hats, caps and stuff like that. Now if I could actually get the trip shot and put it into a position where the bunga bunga will actually go into it, then that would always help as well. But yes, so again, it's going to be completely random. This first bug snacks can be absolutely anywhere. So when you catch this first one anyway, it'll come up with... Um, there you go, new snack hat... Uh, pretty sure it might always be the same one for you as well in terms of it being Chandler's cap um, But when we got that first cap anyway when you come to Gramble's farm right here right in the middle of the uh, main area you can see this picture now that is telling you where the next um, Location is so that will be um, the boiling bay that one uh, but what I would do because there's a lot of it, there's a lot of vast enemies, there's a lot of vast, it's, it's a lot of, you know, these big areas. Uh, this one's going to be in the um, Sizzling Sands. Again, that's a big area with lots of enemies. So we're not going to bother with that. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and sleep until noon or 5am, whenever. Basically, just go ahead and sleep till the next day. Just keep doing this until you either get the Flavor Falls or this one here, which is, of course, the Garden Grove. So that is the only two that we are looking at then, the first two areas because they are the smallest, most compact, with the least amount of enemies in, so you're only look at trying to find, you know, six or, you know, six to eight enemies, or six to eight bug snacks, sorry, one of them's going to have a hat. Again, any of the other areas which are big and have a lot of uh, enemies, you're going to be looking for a while and there's just no point. I mean, there's a point you can do it if you want, but... <laughs> I just found it easier to just keep sleeping till noon until you get to the first two areas. So you can have a look now. And again, it's going to be on a random bug snacks as well. So it will be random areas and random bug snacks. Um, so what we can do... Don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to nip over to the other side. Now for me, you can probably just see in the distance that um, little ant dude, uh, Scuzzle Bug or Shut Bag Bug. I forget his name to be honest. So we're just going to send over... <laughs> send over this trap, pick him up, oh shishka bug, yeah close enough, close enough. Uh, so we're gonna pick him over, that is gonna get us a second hat, the propeller. Again, not sure if the hats are will be the same for you or if they'll be random. Literally doesn't matter as long as you're doing the same method that I'm doing, i.e. not falling down like an absolute moron. There we go. Uh, so we're just gonna do that every single time. Um, it's, it's just easier going this way. I did Go and look for one in um, uh, Sizzling Sands, uh, not Sizzling Sands, Simmering Springs, sorry, the third area of the game that you unlock during story progression. And I found the enemy with a hat, but again, because that's a bigger area, there's more enemies in it, it took me a little while longer. For me, it was just easier to just do this. So as soon as you head down here, as soon as you carry, uh, catch the bug snacks with a hat, we're going to jump down, we're going to go for a sleep, and then we're going to check the board again at Gramble's Farm. Now, this one tells me that it is in Flavor Falls, so that is exactly where we're going. So, again, just head back to Garden Grove, and then all the way through back to Flavor Falls. And then when we are here... Now, again, on this bit of surface, now, every time we had to come to Flavor Falls, it was mainly on this Sandopede, this sandwich-looking thing that's going to appear right now. 
So, as you can see, it's right there, the chef's hat. Um, now, every time we came back to Flavor Falls, I think it was three times it was on the Sandipede, and I think it was once on another enemy. So, put a trip shot here to... I mean, obviously, I'm doing this a little bit later on in the game. That's why we've got the trip shot and all the other traps. As soon as he comes down, grab the Sandipede there with the X button to grab him, and you will have the next hat, the chef's hat. Suck him my chocolate salty balls. Put him in your mouth and suck him in, suck him. Beep, beep, beep. Everyone remembers. If you're a South Park fan, you'll remember that chef hat, won't you? So, as you can see there, I've just kept on doing the same method. So, keep on sleeping until you get either the Garden Groves or the Flavor Falls. So, now we're going back to Flavor Falls. Sorry, as I just... Um, I'll, I'll stop singing chef, uh, chef, chef South Park songs now. I'm so, you don't want to hear that. Uh, maybe next time. Yeah, okay, maybe next time. I was going to start then. But anyway, we're just going to head back to Flavor Falls now. And again, I just found this to be the easiest method. Like I said, instead of going around um, all the bigger areas and searching for ages, this took, I, I reckon this took quite a considerable length off. Um, <laughs> messing around and looking around. So you can have a look at the white semen rootle there. Just the white rootle. And now oh, look at that, the sandopede again. So he's got the king's hat. So again, we're just going to do the same method. Keep sleeping, keep coming. Ah, sorry. Uh, keep trip shotting. You are an olive called Lolive. Very original. Very much like the new Pokemon. And there we go. Uh, we're just going to smash these up. And then as soon as you've collected 10, I'm pretty sure you can collect more as well if you want to. But um, 10 is all you need for the achievement. So there we go then, guys and gals. It might take a little bit of a... It's gonna work. It is gonna unlock eventually. It will. So don't panic if it hasn't unlocked yet. It should come now. There it is. So there we go then, guys and gals. So I do hope the explanation helped. I do hope the um, way I explained the method helped as well. I just found it a lot easier, and I hope you do too. So thank you so so much for watching, guys and gals. I will see you in the next Bug Snacks guide. <laughs> Big love, bibbit.